What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time since I'm giving you an update, but it has literally taken that long for me to get my CCW. So let's just get straight into it. The last video I posted, um, I was playing the waiting game um, for the Los Angeles County CCW department. From there, it was about seven months since I applied. I applied in August of 2021. It is now February 2024 and I just received my license. So I'm just going to walk you through all of the ups and downs and the time frame I waited while trying to get my CCW. From the application that I put in, I waited about seven months to hear a response. And even then, I really didn't get a response. I'm assuming that I received an email and it went to my spam account, but I never received it. But then I received a follow-up email from the CCW department that let me know that they sent me approval to get my CCW course training and so on and so forth. So I received an email that I didn't receive and then I received a second email that they said, hey, you've been approved, you may take your CCW course, so on and so forth. And by that point, it was almost top of the year, 2023. Yeah, 2023. Forgive me if I get my years and stuff mixed up, but that was 20, uh, closer to 2023. During that time of waiting is also when I was moving locations as well as had a baby on the way. So. I contacted them to ask them, is there anything I need to do because I'm moving locations and they informed me that I need to provide a new ID with the correct address on it, as well as a new utility bill with my name on it. So I had to go through the whole DMV process of getting my updated ID and address on the real ID. So that whole DMV debacle and scheduling that. And then once I got that ID is when I sent my documents, copy of my license and driver's license, as well as a utility bill. And from there, I had a newborn on the way. So there was no days or days in the immediate future where I could have done an eight hour CCW course and just leave the house not with the newborn on the way or once the newborn arrived so that time span between needing to take my test and having a newborn that was old enough for me to leave the house for eight hours i would say a good maybe six to eight months so they approved me late 2022 all of this dmv address things happened in between that time and then in early november I got an email that said, you have been approved for X amount of time. If you do not complete your training course before November 30th, I think it was the, the date that they gave me. If you don't complete your testing or course um, before November 30th, you will have to apply again and do the process all over again. So that literally put a fire under me. Um, so I immediately scheduled my CCW course. Um, shout out to Medic Up LLC in uh, Azusa. They were closest to my house. So that's the place I did my training course. It was only for eight hours, which is great because now at the top of 2024, they have already announced that it will be required to take 16 hours to get your CCW instead of eight hours. So I barely made that cut off, but took my training course uh, before the deadline in November. Uh, passed, of course, got to pass. And then I waited some more. So once you do your training course for your CCW, then you send in your documents. And then once they have them and file them, they will let you know when you can come pick up your license. And for me, that was February 2024. So I am officially a concealed carry license holder. I feel accomplished getting this. So the process was uh, they called me. Um, and they scheduled me a time and date to pick up my license I'm from the Sheriff Department building in Monterey Park. The license costs $120, only payable by cashier's check or money order. So that is pretty much it. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, I look forward to updating you and yes, I am caring. So. So I think my next video will be my everyday carry uh, to let you guys know what holster and belt I will be carrying in the near future. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. And as always, stay dangerous because nobody's coming to save you.